bum, 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 bum. You know, I feel like that might be the hardest thing you could do as Ethiopia because that involves fighting the U.S. Yeah. I mean, maybe you just get really good friends. I don't know. Alright, so we're working on handover, whatever it is. Gotta press some of these buttons. Yeah, but when to... was the last time you ever saw the AI successfully invade America? Yeah, I, the naval landing? Not. I don't think ever. Sway leader loyalty with the right means of persuasion, we may well expand our support among the leading officers in the Spanish military. Having their support when the time comes may well prove invaluable. Sure. Appreciate what they did with Italy. Uh, how they made Mussolini just mechanically incompetent. Yep. Ooh. Unpause. And throughout the game, he never stops giving you completely hey, unreasonable de missions to finish. Yeah. Paradox has always been pretty good with stuff like that. Like, I don't even know if it's actually possible to pacify Ethiopia in the time frame he wants. Stop. He'll trade. Uh, that's weird. Okay, making guns again. Man, this is gonna be painful. Does Brazil have any steel? I think? I feel like they have no steel. Hmm. You've got, like, the world's supply of, uh, like, what was it? Tungsten or something under you? Brazil has. No, uh, like, uh, I mean. Five units of steel. And 39 units of rubber. I mean, you've got. Like, in Portugal, you've got tons of uh, tungsten. Probably, let me so, see. Maybe tanks are a good idea for you. Oh, yeah. I, man, that's a massive amount of tungsten. Oh, yeah. We still need steel to build the tanks, but... Yeah. Okay. I am not going to be hurting for artillery and tanks. That's good. Then again, I need steel for both of those, and I have no steel. Yeah. I don't think any way I can get the deal unless we conquer China. <laughs> we need to conquer China to get steel to conquer France. <laughs> uh, maybe we'll be able to... Who knows what's actually going to happen with France. We just got to make sure that... Uh, we attack them if they end up getting attacked. Oh, they did go for a civil war. Well, if they go monarchist, then that'll... 
be interesting. I don't think I've ever seen the AI actually go non-aligned. Oh, I see. I mean, I no, see not non-aligned. Uh, democratic. I see dem them go democratic all the time, and it's never when I want it. Hmm. All right, negotiate Carlist support. Our cause has uh, has allies. We our cause has allies. We but need oh we but need to reach out to. Anti-clerical sentiment from the left has antagonized the Carlists, who have long been preparing for a confrontation with the Republic. Should we gain their support, our uprising will be much strengthened. And they went for that, uh, that civil war pretty quick, too. So, does popularity of fascism actually change anything at this point? Uh, I have no idea. so that your opponents get less political power. Okay, let's do that. Uh, Primo de Rivera, Jose and... Uh, I'm going to pause one. Jose Antonio Prima de Rivera is one of the founders of the Falange Española, a public speaker critical of democracy. Perhaps he should be encouraged to hold further speeches to increase our popular support and further destabilize the nation. Um... Also, I think, like, all of this decreases the amount of time that it takes for the war to start. Which I think is... good for us? Because, Probably. Because, like, the Republicans have less time to actually consolidate. Where we're kind of already kind of consolidated. Yeah. Alright. You know, financial experts always good to get. Well, what can I? I cannot get to. I have no war support, so no better economy. Attention. Okay. Financial expert, it is. Maybe that gets me. Yep, that gets me one more factory to build things with. Hey, there you go. Hold on, make sure that I'm not doing this wrong, actually. 
Okay, I think I I should be more focused rather than casting a wide net. Does it say current nationalist control of the garrison none? In uh and this is in Burgos too. Current divisions created you get upon those, there's one of your one of your focuses will give you full in the northern states. Okay. Secure the northern garrison. And you okay. will not lose control of those states unless the AI focuses everything on taking them and flips all of your garrison control. Gotcha. Nationals begin the civil war in control of these provinces as long as the garrison control in them is weak. Okay, Galicia, Leon. Yeah. Okay, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. So no everything in the north except for Astorius and Pais Vasco. Which is why I said you should probably focus on those two. Gotcha. Okay. Right. Uh, missed that part. All right. Army of Africa. The key to victory in the upcoming struggle is the seasoned army of Africa. We must concentrate the loyalty to our cause, draw up plans for the lightning occupation of North Africa, and then prepare the transfer of these battle-hardened troops to the mainland where they can swing the balance in our favor. Nito Bandito. All right, so uh, even if I have if I have weak control, that does not mean that I will keep it. If you have weak control of any of the northern states, you'll keep them except for those two. Okay. You need full control of Astorius and Pais Vasco to keep them. All right. But I could have been a little bit more efficient with that. Yeah, like I shouldn't have been putting points in the other ones. Uh, but, I mean, as long as I have weak there. I don't have any right there. That's bad. You get full control of the northern ones in, from that focus. Okay. Except for the two. Yeah, alright. I'll work on those then. Oh, hey. Yeah, they're going for the, uh, whatever you call oh, it. No. So they're going to be fighting Russia. That's good. And I believe they usually end up still fighting China, so. All right. Ethiopia is going communist. Nice. That will be interesting. If they survive. Which they won't. Uh, dismissal of uh, Niceto Alcala uh, Al Zamora. Power struggle between the various parties on, of the left, so recently united in victory in the 1936 elections, has already come to a head. Wary President uh, Niceto Al... Uh, the dude... His centrist compromising policies, his alienated support in the Cortez, judged the very dissolution of the Cortez, and resulted in the election of the un, uh, to be unconstitutional, and dismissed him from office. Uh, in his stead, the Cortez has elected his old rival Manuel Azania, uh, who now has inherited the uninevitable, unenviable task of bringing back stability to the increasingly polarized Spanish political scene. Boy. 
Okay, so let's see. Alright, uh, you ready to unpause? Sorry. Yeah, go ahead. Okay, just making sure you weren't doing anything. How many formable nations does Ethiopia get? Quite a few. There is the Horn of Africa. There is Empire, like the Aksumite Empire. There is the Empire of Solomon. There's like the Ra, uh, like Ra's Empire. There's like an Italo Ethiopian thing. I don't know if that's actually a formable nation or just something with like a faction with Italy or something. I don't know. Oh, Switzerland's focus tree looks pretty massive. I'm not even sure what I'm looking at. Armed neutrality doesn't sound very Swiss, though. Oh, well, I mean, you're the mercenary nation. Hey, political assassination. Our political adversaries are proven to be more than, uh, more t uh, to be more to throw on our side, swaying people who could otherwise be swayed to uh, our side instead. By tactically eliminating one of our key opponents, we can ease the pressure on us and give our message more of a chance of getting through. See, we're not desperate. Uh, we totally have everything in control in the country. We killed that guy. Well, I found the focus where you smuggle gold for the Nazis. Yep. Hey, senor. Glad to see that's in there. Mm hmm. Do they have one about stealing artwork, too? Maybe. Alright, scare the northern garrisons. Using the proper encouragement, we will obtain the support of the garrison commanders in the north. With a well-timed concurrent uprising, this will give us a solid power base from which to wage our war against the leftists if our initial coup attempts should fail. Alright, we have strong support in... Uh... Hey, Spasco, now. Okay, so you'll keep that. Oh, God, my army is terrible. Yeah. Yo, new type, how you doing, man? Well, at least there's no penalty to defense, so I can just dig a hole. Yeah, I've got the all the DLC. Hope you've been doing well, dude. The sneaky little oh, oh, what's that? Oh, that's where I actually stream basically now. If you didn't already know about that, I forget if I mentioned that. Yeah, I, I mentioned it. Oh, Yugoslavia's going Kami. Reality there. Uh, yeah, I just I had not mentioned it because I kind of wanted to keep. I'm keeping them separate, but at the same time, I want to keep that one separate from this one. But this one, I don't mind shouting out to over there. That's where it is. Okay, political power game, 15%. Daily support for unaligned. That is definitely who I want. Yeah, it's like, I've only recently actually started streaming Hoi 4 and, um, and EU4 over there. And people are actually showing up and watching it. That's pretty cool. And that's where I do that now, as well as other things. That's not my primary thing that I stream over there. But that is what I 
but I am now doing that there. I originally thought that I was not going to stream stuff like this over there, and then I was like, you know, whatever, I'm gonna do it. And then when people actually started showing up, I was like, all right, I'm gonna keep doing this at least somewhat regularly. All right, sorry about that. Uh, royal wedding in Brazil. They don't, uh, marry the prince of There's not only reconcile the Portuguese and the Brazilian. Brazilian brigantine houses, but has also unified. Oh, I could just do it. Shouting out my own Twitch stream. <laughs> uh, cool things. Uh, Monarchist sentiment. Fun times, fun times. Alright. Alright, but I do okay. need to make sure that I at least have weak support. In all these other places. As the focus says. Okay, so Brazil needs to have more than 50% stability or 70% neutrality? What's their stability? Stability is pretty good. Yep, that was not a, uh, a long war. Nope. Okay, so I need Brazil to have 50, more than 50% stability and be 70% not a lot, correct? Uh, 50% stability and... I've not actually played this this thing uh, that, down that path, so I'm not absolutely certain. Because it says or, so that means yeah. that, it be, that if one of those isn't fulfilled, then it's going to go to a civil war. Yeah, sounds correct. Alright, so once the Civil War starts, it will instantly uh, do the supremacy of the commune. Though, so is do you think Franco is more useful, or should I just get the political power? I think you should get the political power, because Franco's yeah. gonna side with the Falange. Yeah, I agree. That's what I was kind of thinking. Sin Paquito. The government, fearing his political uh, potential disloyalty, has sent Francisco Franco to command the forces in the Canaries. However, despite our invitation, he has not promised us his support either, and merely delays us with his indecisiveness. If Miss Canary Islands 1936 will not decide to join us, then we will simply proceed without him. Take that, Frankie. Oh, we have total control there now. Oh, and, oh, because we just finished... I'm stupid. Okay. I get it now. I, I wasted 
points working on that, but yeah, okay. I see. You know what? It's fine. We'll win. And that's kind of the only important thing. Press oh, the strikes. A... Hold on, I'm gonna... I wanna read this. Press the strikes. The strikes are causing massive unrest and economic damage to our nation. We will send in our militias to break them up and ensure the people go back to work. I don't think I'm actually going to be able to get... I think I've got Pace, Bosco, but I don't think I'm going to get Asturias. Well, you've still narrowed that front line a little bit, so... Yeah. We'll see how exactly it'll be. And you just gotta love those national spirits that Spain starts with. Oh, yeah. Good stuff. Great stuff. Oh, I think Poland's organizing the peasant strike. Good, good. tree than you would expect for something like Lithuania. Yeah. Jesus, this portrait looks like an evil version of Max Headroom. His name's basically Voldemort, so <laughs> he's bad. Which guy? Uh, Voldemaris. I'm looking at the focuses. Oh, okay. It's one of the guys they get. All right. Basically, can't do any focuses until can't do any more focuses until the war has begun. So I guess I'll just gather political power. Yeah. Yeah. Looks like there's a surprising amount of this tree that isn't mutually exclusive. Hmm. I'd have to, like, check it out myself to be sure, though. Oh, yeah. Uh, my friend is playing as Portugal, and we are going to be buddies. Both monarchists. Assuming I don't screw this up.
I think I... Yes, exactly. We're gonna be dividing the world in two again. It's gonna be uh, Tordesius all over again. Maybe a few more wiggly lines, but... Got. Ooh, wow. Oh, I think the war begins. There it is. Alright. Yes, I'm going to be going for the Carlists. And, uh... Yeah, there are a couple sort of different things you can do with the Carlists, but... Alright, that's not a half-bad-looking national Spain to start with. In... That's basically... The worst you could have gotten. Really? Huh. Yeah, you didn't pick up a single extra state. Yeah. The good news is they weren't they were just as unfocused as you too, so they didn't take any. That's good. Also good news is the way your troops randomly spawned, you already encircled that one state. Yeah. Alright, the Spanish Civil War. At exactly 5 a.m. this morning, precisely one day after contact was lost with the North African garrisons, a well-prepared military operation was launched all throughout Spain with the intention of gaining control of all government institutions and strategic locations in the major cities. Major parts of the Army, Navy, and Air Force have ceased responding to government orders while concurrently, heartless militias have revolted in the north of the country. Complete success of this attempted coup has only been prevented by unofficial uh, people's militias who, through quick action, have managed to retain control of many of the targeted locations and cities. Despite the failure to meet their initial goals, however, it seems unlikely that the insurrection's uh, leaders will give up their strong position as willingly as they did in 1932, with neither side appearing inclined to uh, compromise the path lies wide open for the current situation to escalate into a nationwide civil war. Which, by God, Fatherland and King, we will win. Alright, I kind of want to read that focus, the supremacy of the commune. As certain as God created the heavens and the earth, so... So does the, the other people. Yes, communion. Right, right, right. <laughs> Irony. So does the traditionalist co uh, communion hold the key to Spain's unitary future? The Carlist uprising in the 19th century may have been hindered, but their spirit has never broken. Those who are true to the faith stand ready to rise up against the Republic once again. Alright, so now we instantly go for... One of the, getting rid of one of these bad... Oh, prepare the Carlos Insurrection, you said. Yeah. Alright. Our alliance with the Flange is one born of necessity, and its life expectancy has already been... Uh, can already be counted in weeks. We must strike at our supposed allies before they strike at us, and eliminate their flawed ideology before it has a chance to take root in the minds of the common people. Sí, señor. Alright. Orders. 
¡Instrucciones! ¡Listo para avanzar! Alright, I'm just gonna unpause for a moment, see where everyone's going. Italy wants to give me a singular CR30 a month. Thanks, Mussolini. Listo, señor! Alright. Listo. Instrucciones. Atento. Listo, señor. You know, it might not be a bad idea to try and pick up some extra stability by doing some raids. Okay. I'm talking about me. Oh, okay. Instrucciones. Yeah, let... Listo para avanzar. let's get rid of some fascists. Instrucciones. Yeah. Instrucciones. All right, I think who else we got? You are you can just that one. You can have a offensive doctrine. You can be charismatic. Guy, infantry expert. Listo. Listo. And will all the Phalangist guys disappear once I flip to not Phalangist? Yep. Alright, good to know. Let's get cool eye patch guy. <laughs> I'm glad we kept cool eye patch guy. Back this guy. Put that guy right there. Okay. Instrucciones. All right, well, now I know how to do the Civil War better for next time. Yep. That's how it goes, though. It's hard to understand what you're doing wrong until you see it pop up. Yeah. Which, you know, makes sense. Yeah. Because none of those people knew what they were doing wrong. Yeah. Alright, I'm going to pause if you are ready. Go ahead. Three friends from Italy. Oh, right. Boats. Yes. Whatever. You have boats. boats. Yes, I do. They do not matter, though. Alright, we got Bill Bow dealt with. Sí, señor. And that guy's about to get annihilated over there. The more front lines solidify, with only a week of fighting behind us, it is already becoming apparent that this, the Spanish countryside is not well suited for the transport of large quantities of equipment. Difficulties in keeping our front lines and offenses wide are cropping up, and will only get worse if we continue to attempt to fight everywhere at once. Unplanned. Man, you did that well. Thank you. 
All right. Yeah, so like what that means is basically all fighting has ground to a screeching halt. So if you like go over like one of those battles that's happening, you'll see that it's not like expected to finish for like three years. Ah. Uh. This one so says 16 you... days, but I'm sure that'll change in just a moment. Mm -hmm. So you get, um, on your decisions thing, you get the ability to pick where you want to attack. Okay. So you pick whatever state you're most active in, and then after a certain amount of time for the decision to fire, it will remove that debuff and you can fight there like normally. Okay, cool. So what... The states you do this to affect the Republicans, and the states the Republicans do it to affect you as well. All right. Where do I start getting... Do I need to consolidate support to make sure that I get stuff as the monarchists, or will I just only get what I get? You no, you need to consolidate to get stuff as the monarchists. You get Burgos and I think the is it Argon? I think I think Navara. Okay. Oh, let me pull up your. It's it's the uh, other one. P S I R O C K O M E G A. Peterman. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> So basically, there'll be ones that won't have the option, and those are the ones you get automatically. Okay. But then you want to pick which states you want to hold on to. So, the focus, uh, contact the Union Militar Española, will give you partial control of one state. Okay. I like to make that state Galicia, because it's easy to sort of pin down directory troops there. Okay. But that's just me. If you think you've got a better place that you want them to show up, go ahead. All right. No, this is not the wedding between the Spanish and Portuguese. This is a dude dying. Uh, San Jorge uh, Jor dies. Only scant days after the start of the Civil War, our side has already been hit by tragedy as the coup leader select uh, leader, Jose San Jorge has died in a plane crash on his way from Portugal to take command of the Nationalist forces in Spain. It would appear that an attempt to make a heroic, daring aviator impression upon his return to Spain, uh, Spanish soil, after over two years in exile, the general insisted upon flying a small plane rather than any of the larger ones that were available and subsequently overloaded it uh, by demanding all his heavy luggage be loaded on the same plane. Our guy here. Crashing immediately upon takeoff. <laughs> Crashing immediately upon takeoff, he was killed instantly, and in doing so, has reduced nationalist leadership to a collection of squabbling generals vying for control. He dared too much. Stupid. Okay, so you'll notice you are now ruled yeah. by a room full of people. Yeah. Let those guys starve a little. Yeah, I don't know exactly how the royal wedding works. I've never actually done that. Which ro what? Uh, the royal wedding between Iberia and Spain, or uh, oh. between Portugal and Spain. Yeah, you you offer the wedding, and if I say yes, I disappear. Okay. Yeah, uniting Brazil and Portugal. Okay. Orderes! 
¡Listo, señor! ¡Firme! ¡Vamos, vamos! ¡Guarden las distancias! For the Carlson direction. Contact the uh, Union Militar Española. Those guys, uh, it's a massive secret society of officers who conspire. Don't do that. Okay, don't do that one yet. Do that one last. You want to get, you want to unite the Recuertes. Because take okay. a look at that national spirit. It's god awful. Yeah, okay. Uh, head the Junta Nacional. Supreme Wartime Executive of the Carlist War Machine, the Junta Nacional Carlista de Juera, requires the leader to unify the various Carlist regional juntas. Uh, many Falconde can uh, Manuel Falconde can be the leader. Okay, so go to your decision screen. Yeah, I see now. All right. That is 50 political power. Would. Hmm. So we, we start with those two, definitely. We start with Navarra and uh, Burgos. And you said that you like valid. Galicia. I would get. Yeah, I like to use, Gal to use Galicia for the, the. The whatever they're called. The focus. Yeah. Yeah, it's good to have, like. They're nice in the yeah. corner there, and you get you can attack the, the so flanges my, from the what rear. What I would do is I would get for your first, for your first uh, whatever it's called. Uh, uh the first re, re, the first re, uh, the first cell I would set up in. Uh, how am I going to just via Dolid? Okay. Since, you know, it's right next to your capital. Yeah. Yeah, okay. I'll go ahead and do that. Alright, alright, alright. Get that and going. If you can get Leon 2, you've got... You'll pretty much be able to pin, like, half their army when they spawn in Galicia. Okay. Gotcha. Alright, that's what you were talking about. Is there even a point in actually moving? Yes. Like, uh, ideally I would get the control of the stuff that I take, or it's just easier for us to take care of the phalangists rather than the, uh, rather than the Republicans? It's easier to take care of the phalangists because you're going to spread the directory really thin. Because you're only going to get the states that you prepare a, a cell in. Yeah. They're, they're gonna keep everything out, so if you spread them out across a long line with the Anarchists and the Republic, then they get hit on all fronts, while well, you can retreat back into the core. Yeah.
And also, it long one weakens the Republicans and the anarchists, which is something else you want. Yeah. Vamos, vamos. Por ellos. But yeah, I at least got them out of the north pretty quickly. Yep. That's always nice. It's a shame Ethiopia didn't make it. Yep. Alright, I was looking at... Was it Latvia? I think it was Latvia. So our plan is, I want to absolutely take France, which is why we have them going monarchist. I guess take the Benelux as well, possibly? Then... I don't know. We'll, we'll play it by ear. Uh, split Belgium? You get Belgium, I get the Congo? Oh yeah, that sounds good. I mean, I can't possibly run it worse than Leopold did. No. Spanish Netherlands. So is that like a puppet we form, or do we get cores on Ooh. it? Let's see. Reclaim Spanish Netherlands. You get a war goal annex, so I don't think you get cores, so... Ah. Maybe I'll make a collaborationist government or something. Too bad you can't just force them together into one one country. Yeah. Latvia is not a fan of the pre Star Wars prequels. They can overthrow Padme. Ah. Terrible. Otto Sung's Hungarian crown. And that's also something that we tried to make sure it happened. Oh, okay, yeah. Well, I mean, them doing this certainly does make... I mean, hopefully they will actually get that all going. We'll, and we'll, we'll see what happens with Central Europe because of uh, this. A pirate king. August von Mackensen. It's amazing to me that these dudes can even have supply for so long. Like, they are not connected to a port, completely surrounded, and they still have, like, most of their org. And, it like... It has to do with that unplanned offensive. Yeah. 
That's what I was thinking, but it's still kind of crazy. Is there any downside to taking, like, uh, chief of army or, like, military high command right now? Uh, yeah, because you need to use your political power to keep making those cells, which you should make sure you yeah. know exactly when you can do the next one. Yeah. Why don't I try to turn up the speed? Like, we've been pretty consistent, like, lag-wise. Go ahead. Give it a shot. Imagine doing anti-fascist raids in my own country right now. That's kind of funny. <laughs> that might make them a little suspicious. <laughs> yeah. All right, what focus are you working on right now? Uh, I'm getting rid of that horrible army nat national spirit. Okay. I figure the little bit of stability I'm gonna gain from the f raiding the fascists should cover the, stabi the stability loss. Yeah, that's the game you want to be playing. No, wish that Italy could actually help a little bit more against this dude. Help. That doesn't sound right. They're shooting, but not well, apparently. Take the decision. Monarchist in Brazil. Alright. This joining Carlos Junces would be a good thing to get rid of. Unite the Requetes. For too long have the regional Carlos Juntas been able to operate independently from each other. We must unify them and their militias, the Requetes, to better organize the Carlist war effort and eliminate internal dissent. And so, when exactly does the Carlists break off again? There, if you look in your decision screen, you'll see a mission. Oh, okay. Preparing offensive? You can trigger it, you can trigger it early by do, doing the no compromise on Carlist ideals, you should okay. probably actually try to do that, but you can time it so it comes up pretty close. Okay. So I should do the contact uh, Union Militar Española after the Unite the Requeros? Requeros? Yeah. Okay. I... Is it really? Is it really the prepare... Oh, prepare offensive or something else. Oh, it's is it the... Impending fascist crackdown. Yep. Okay, that's the one. That's 222 days. So that's actually a lot more time. All right. All right. I'm unpausing. Comes up on you quick. Oh, uh, what was that? Comes up on you quick. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you have two stability. <laughs> you know. We appreciate that too, stability. Let's see if you'll still have it by the time you finish this focus. Everyone named Carl in the world, unite! Cancel the singular lend lease that they gave me, thanks. Pizza man. Really nothing to do with guns. I guess I might as well... Oh, we could... No. Uh, mm. we improve our artillery. Do we even have artillery in our divisions? 
That guy kind of does. That's a lot of horses. A little artillery there. That's, that's good. Alright, alright, alright. Carl, I want to have a king, Carl. I'm gonna go to war. Carl, that kills people. <laughs> All right, we're getting Leon next. Communist. Which one? The other Spain. Oh, they're going like Soviet. Well, I don't know yet. They haven't decided whether or not they're gonna go with the POUM or the Soviets. Okay. But they are definitely going to be communist. Yeah, it's slow going, but uh, things are happening. We're consolidating support in our country. Alright, just gotta keep an eye. Gotta make sure that I start no compromises on Carlos that deals. Like, a little bit before, 35 days before it starts. Gotta math it out. Alright, so once this one's finished, we will have 35 there. 70 between those two. Might be able to... S uh, we will. We may be able to squeeze out. The uh, uh, war in the north, which would be kind of nice. Not that it really matters, but I mean, getting that sooner is kind of nice. Just to make sure that we actually get rid of this little dude up here and free up those four divisions. Mm. Ooh, 
That's, that's a hard choice. All those factories are plus 10% construction speed. Instrucciones! Sí, señor. Okay, my army is no longer completely incompetent. Alright, and the offensives, do those take political power? I forget. I don't think so. I don't know, let's just blow that up. See if we can get rid of those dudes. Alright then, now we will do contact the Union Militar Española. The Union Militar Española, Messi Society, Officer of the of the Republic, and the sympathies in her uh, cause, uh, has many. I kind of obtain support from the many of these leaders as we can for uh, when the time comes. Cool. I forgot I could be ex I can export on a line now. Yay! Why, why was I not doing that in Brazil? Hmm. Now they're losing a ton of org because of that uh, the thing I did, the offensive there. My God, she was captured after like one day. Oh, your spy? Yup. <laughs> right, I'm not gonna be able to get both of these either. And not be able to get that one before I start it, but I will be able to at least maybe accumulate some points. Actually, hmm. That's only a 35 day. Alright, we finally got that dude. Great. My navy's trying to defect to the Spanish Republic. <laughs> yeah, they like doing that. Good way to get uh, a lot of experience is to not be a, just to fight green fights and not win. Alright, seven days and this one will be done. Oh, looks... this, this political loyalty spirit of the Academy sounds really good. 
see. All right. Uh, which one was that? Party popularity su stability modifier plus fifteen percent. That's good. Yeah. Hey, Portugal is some surprisingly good stuff. I'm. Just, I don't know if this is unique to Portugal. I'm looking at the doctoring screen. Oh, okay. All right, so I have exactly 117 days, which means. I could squeeze out two of these. Well, hold on, no. Did I barely? Make seven. 105. Pending craft crackdown is 117. So I could squeeze out both of these. Not that it actually matters. I just, uh, I have plenty of political power. I'm not worried about any of that, really. Hello? <laughs> Eh, let's go for it. We'll do war. Well, war in the north actually does nothing for us. But I could get the land doctrine decrease. Yeah, land doctrine is That nice. is, Yeah, that is good. War in the north. The north has always been the very heartland of the Carlist movement. Any insurrection must focus on securing this as our base of operations. All right, Uni Militar Española. Carlos Cause has, uh, still has allies among the military. Coordinating with them and obtaining their assistance will go a long way to ensuring the success of our uprising. All right, so, okay, and this is what you're talking about. Yep. Yeah, it doesn't give you control of the state, but it spawns a bunch of troops in the state. So you can then spread out and basically wall off certain areas in it. All right. And if you successfully manage to get Leon, it'll be easy to connect it to the rest of your land. Yeah. So my options are... A dude in Salamanca, a dude in, yeah, Leon, and then a dude in Aragon. But I will get control, I, I think I should be getting control of Leon here. We got four days until my, well, that one's done. So I guess I'll just get... So I guess I'll, I'll take your word and go for the guys in Leon. Here, uh, yeah, one of the assistance success in an uprising. Here, Union Militar allies in Leon. Eat. Wait, which state did you do? Ah, Leon. Well, whatever. No, I said Galicia. Oh. I don't even... I, I don't even think that was an option. Or maybe I'm blind and dumb and wasn't paying enough attention. But whatever. Like, I think the options... I might have just cancelled you trying to make a cell in my own. Really? That'd be weird. I mean, it's still doing it right now. Like, I've got... Hmm. Well, we'll see. Okay, now... I've, I've got control of... Navarra... Burgos... Valadoid... Valadoid... Dolid... And Leon. I want to say I would want to try and get... Bosco. But at least, well, maybe I should go for Asturias because that would isolate. Because I don't think I'll be able to get Vasco and Alicia. So I should, I feel like I should isolate them. 
from each other. Okay. Alright, if I even have that enough time. Solid. All right, we'll see. See how that goes. Got 112 days. Kind of chilling. I've got my Air Force that I have. Air Force that I have. Somewhere? Nowhere. Maybe nowhere. Seems to be nowhere. Guess who's not in control of Italy? Come on. Yet, they went for the guy that's named after the country itself. Italo. That's like electing for president Joe America. Which one is Balbo? He was the have... marshal, field marshal, or yeah. general. Which which marshal though? Oh, um, I don't, I don't remember what he did as a general. But this is basically I think this, this guy focuses on like. Um, Libya, I believe. Okay. Okay, this one. I I know who he is now. He's he's the guy that the Italian army accidentally killed. <laughs> oh, oh, Italy. Yeah, they misidentified his plane and shot it down. <laughs> the other field marshal, I believe, is the one who actually deposes Mussolini. Mm. And arrest him. So uh, I guess that guy made it out of World War II without a trial. Because he was actually technically on the Allies' side by the end of it, then, right? Probably. I didn't. I didn't get that far into the history. Okay, but yeah, I mean, it's like there was a technically a civil war in Italy between the folks, yep. in between the basically Mussolini being a Nazi puppet. And the folks that, yeah. So once again, Italy changed sides. This time, in the, like the third act. Oh wow, that's a strong commune. Oh, it's the P O U M. Yeah. Oh, they must have picked that. Okay. Right. All right. Interesting. Very interesting. And okay, and Eastern Spain, coming sometime yeah, because... a couple days ago. Yeah, the Republicans have no support from the Soviets. Good, good. But 
yeah, that, that friendly fire event is actually something that can happen for Italy now if you have an air war going on. Mm. There's a chance he dies, there's a chance he survives, but another one of your general dies. Ah. <laughs> One of their focuses, if you take it early enough, you can prevent, essentially, your anti-air guns from being incompetent. Good for them. get some collaboration going on Brazil I might not have the patience to wait for them all right now with 40 yeah, there's ability just went down the shitter 47 days left I might as well go for no compromises Yeah, like that, I don't think it's getting any more states other than one that I've already started. Alright. No compromise on Carlist ideals. Though we co cooperated with the Falange in our initial uprising, it is now clear to us that compromising on our ideals is tantamount to treason. If the Falange does not accept our demands, then we have no choice but to eliminate them too. I'm guessing there's no actual option for them to be like, okay, are yeah, we given? Yeah, there is none. Heck. The only way to make the Falange and the Carlos cooperate is to go with Franco. Ah. And that would just mean you stay Nationalist Spain under Franco, and not... Yep. Uh, okay. Though Franco does have the option to crown a king, so... Huh. Okay. You can then have nationalist Spain ruled by someone who isn't Franco. Cool. Hey, there we go. Hey, there we go. Hey, there we go. <laughs> the state I'm fighting in. Sanationist. Sanitationist. Yep. Keep it clean. I, I see that. Yeah. Really good janitors. Like, you could eat off those bathroom floors. Oh, Latvia's in a civil war. When did that happen? A little bit ago. Ooh, yes, yes. Collaboration government in British Raj. Okay, cool. Collaboration government in China. Portuguese India. Oh, they got that dude. There's that picture. All right, make absolutely sure. It will take 90 days to do any of these, so I might as well not spend points, because the, the war 
Our Civil War within the Civil War is going to start in 21. Oh, wow. What's coming? My dude in China is pretty decent. Turkey's going Democratic, it looks like. Yeah, I think that's how they get to the Ottomans. They go Democratic and fail. Hmm. You know, I complain about my Indian dude being a humble appeaser, but I'm the one he's appeasing, so... <laughs> yeah. Sorry, I was just doing tech stuff, not a big deal. just crack down. Please, by our continued ex uh, insistence on political independence, the Falange leadership has decided to attempt to wipe our movement off the map. Falange's forces uh, have turned on our requetes and arrested and uh, arrest attempts have been made on multiple of our leading thinkers and politicians. In their inflexibility, they have endangered the position of the entire National Front and may well give Republican forces the opening they need. Their foolishness will cost them more than us. Yeah. Yeah, that, that worked out pretty good. You got like three... three enclaves trapped. Yeah. Listo para avanzar. Sí, señor. So you did get all of Leon? Yes, I did. Red Hat League. Seems so. Easy yeah, headshots. I guess, I guess that's the way to cheese that. Alright, I think we go ahead and make, like, multiple generals. You can just... That's... They're all right there. This guy, just take these guys, or are there even any guys up there? Let's just march on through and see. I hate how I have a, uh, I don't know, I got a, I got a infantry division and infantry brigade that just have different widths, same thing. gonna get a new focus um i revive the spirit of the carlist wars carlist wars in the 19th century may have been regrettable losses to our cause but the spirit of resistance lives on to this day 
You will not rest until the rightful heir sits on the Spanish throne and safeguards the Christian faith for all Spaniards. You'll have to take this seriously now. Because I have a gun. <laughs> Listo, señor. Firme. Seguimos avanzando. Firme. Listo para avanzar. They'd probably just capitulate if I take their capital, wouldn't they? Oh, wow. Yeah. The POUM isn't even really communist. Huh. They're anarchists. Yeah. Yo, Amelia lives. Soviets? Can I give him the squeeze? Dudes in Zaragoza. <laughs> oh, good for them. Little Entente reaffirmed. Good for them. So Czechoslovakia. Yep. I guess they're not too happy about the whole uh, sí, Austria-Hungary thing. Yeah, I guess not. Seguimos avanzando. Who's even in the No, it's them and Yugoslavia. Mm. Sí, señor. Oh, 
Ooh, we don't like that. Most unfortunate. Civil War in Mexico. Wow, Brazil is fucking deadly. Both of my spies just got injured. <laughs> oh, wow. Wait a minute. I'm doing the focus to start helping you. Mm -hmm. It's not that we have much appreciation for the Carlos, but of course the Spanish monarchy would be much better than the presence of a fascist and communist regime on the peninsula. You must favor the lesser evil. Alright. ideals. Man, the Republic is just crumbling. Yeah. I mean, the directory had no chance because of how they spawned, but... Ordenes. Sí, señor. Listo para avanzar. Damn it, that's not what I wanted. Alright. Crusade against democracy. Only the rightful Carlos heir has been once only the rightful Carlos heir has been invested by God himself with the divine right to rule. Democracy is not only an insult to the king, it is also a blasphemy against the will of God. This plight must not be allowed to exist upon the world any longer. Dang. We have taken Zaragoza, but I kind of botched uh, Galicia a little bit. There. Uh, just like right north of your border, like. Uh, yeah, yeah I know. That's why I sent you. Oh, I'm yes. New oh. military access. Cool, so thank you. you. Come 
Lance! ¡Listo, señor! Retirada. Atención. Órdenes. ¡Listo para avanzar! So do the Baltic nations all have the same com communist path? Maybe. I feel like they should. I mean, they're different, but probably not terribly different. National pride marches in Finland. Hmm. Man. Finno-Estonian Supremacy League. <laughs> That you can just declare that Estonia is Scandinavia. Through the League of Nations. All this happening. Do this right, we might be able to get a little sneaky on him. Okay, I sent you volunteers if you'll accept them. Yes, uh, thank you. Um... 
atención. Now focus. Confirm the Pueros. Governance of the nation falls under the purview of the king, but ancient privileges safeguard the right of self-government for the regions comprising the kingdom as a whole. These rights or fueros are as they are called must be confirmed if the loyalty of the various of uh, if the loyalty of the various regions is to be maintained. Restability. Hooray. And let's go ahead and take some land doctrine. Probably grand battle plan? Or do you feel like we're more of a superior firepower setup? I normally favor superior firepower, but I don't know how much we'll be able to do. Yeah. Especially you, because you're gonna, after this, you're gonna be seriously crippled. Yeah. It'll take time, but we can fix it. Uh... Oh my god, you managed to hold on to that 2% stability. Yeah. Uh, let's go through the grand battle plan. That's probably the best. Man, we're gonna have to fight the Jacks to get the French. Yep. Yeah. Can the Italian Civil War still fire if Mussolini isn't the one who's screwing things up? I don't know. I guess we'll find out. Actually, hold on. Let's not get too crazy here. Oh, and Germany's gonna go democratic. Interesting. Uh, so where are your guys? Or are they not there yet? Or they're, they're coming? They're in transit. Okay. Yeah, definitely if you could help me out with the Northwest. That would be great. There you are. I won't let me send my points. Did you do the check mark before? <laughs> Two encirclements, if I could actually capitalize on them. Make that, well, two of them encircled. Uh, if you could support that one dude that's just left of your horsies. Like the one dude down there. I was use the speed oh yeah, yeah, you, actually, yeah. Just, just take the point. Atención. All right, at least we got them pinned down. Now, hopefully, it'll be enough that we won't need to take any more of their cities, or at least those two on the. Very northwest. Atención. Listo. All right, now it's Oviedo. Hmm. Which... Atención. We'll see. There we go, thank you. 
problem. All right, the Flange defeated. Flange's forces have surrendered en masse, and Ness following the capture of their last major stronghold. And despite continued isolated resistance, this marks the end of the organized military of the Flange. Though the conflict is greatly simplified as a result, our fight continues against our remaining enemies. But we are making progress. Good, good, good. Think that actually helps. Guarden las distancias. Helping, helping. Atención. There we are. Listo, señor. Listo para avanzar. Nice to see the Spanish commune helping us get this encirclement over here. Atenciones. Very considerate of them. Avancen. Killing yeah, three I Soviet I'm divisions. Gonna... I think I'm going to try and Listo focus on. Trying to push through the Republic. Yeah. There we go. Beautiful. Captain Generico is now in charge of Mexico. Save that guy right in time.
Expand the Raquetas. We have relied upon relatively small but comparatively well-trained force of assault troops so far. Ambitions require much more, however. We must expand these Raquetas and provide the necessary training for all who answer the hunting call. Yay. Gotta help our manpower, which is at a whopping zero right now. Juicy little encirclement here. Uh, there we go. We've almost got to the coast. Oh, hold on a second. No way that taking Sevilla will be enough. No, they got too many big cities. Yeah. Listo, señor. Huh? Let me see if I can grab Cordoba. Listo. Avance. He'll probably beat me to it because I keep getting pinned. Ordenes. Okay, Cordobo's gone. It's gonna I'm gonna cap them real easy. Okay, I'm almost at El Mario. That might be enough. Do you any Cadiz? Uh, they're making their own faction, apparently. And they're still the Italian League. Who wants to join the League I named after myself? They say as they're getting their b-hole pushed in by France and Yugoslavia. But, uh, Chonky Austria-Hungary looking pretty good. Uh, well, <laughs> they absorbed the Czech, so... Yeah. 
Check on Taunt is now French. <laughs> it looks like you guys. Looks like you do need to get that city. Yeah. There we go. We only got like 22 sí, guns. Señor. Sorry, hold on, let me see if I can pull something off here. Ooh, I'm starting one right there. Okay, I just wanted to set up a couple lines. No. Nope. They plugged the hole too fast. Ah. I thought there might have been a way for me to sneak into Madrid. Ah, uh, maybe. Oh, hold on. Uh, uh, uh. I think I can grab it. A little. Oh, they're moving into there, so... Don't quite work. Yet. Okay, I think my plan worked out pretty well here. Yeah. I should safely Vamos, be able to muévanse. become a monarchy, and I will be nowhere close to the stability. Excellent. Meanwhile, Brazil continues to be a mess, so that's probably gonna be... I'm probably gonna have to fight for that. And hopefully I'll be able to help you out. This is not nearly chaotic, as chaotic of a world as my Ethiopia playthrough. Still interesting though. Focus time. Utilize the intellectuals. Those gifted with superior intellect, intellectual faculties should be given the resources they need to best serve their country in ways our troops cannot. That's such a weird sentence. Their brain's so big, they don't need to shoot gun. Yeah, I'm gonna, uh, well, let me set up a line. Vamos, vamos! Fuego enemigo! Listo, señor! Okay, after I make the kingdom, I will take the focus that lets me into your war. Cool. So I'm moving some non-combatants through your troop, through your land, up to the north, so I'll reinforce Aragon. Excellent. Yeah. UK disavows appeasement. That's cool. Well, uh, lucky for them, they don't actually have to deal with anybody hyper-aggressive... yet. Uh, 
How do I get a new general? Uh, I, th I think they changed something up so that you have to go through, like, officers in the officer core tab. Huh. So it's okay. like you got your military command there, you choose your land doctrine, and then to the right of that there's generals, and then there's officers. And uh, there's a button on one of the sides of each of those guys to promote them. Sadly, I don't think it'll promote them to a real boy portrait. Probably not. Are we are able to attack Madrid right now? Congratulations, you have earned a face. really well so this dude i promoted is a brilliant and inflexible strategist huh he knows he just knows he's right simple as that Like, uh, what color would you call that? Blue? Yeah, I know it's a blue, but what kind of blue? The blue kind. <laughs> uh, yeah, oh, that is not a healthy looking SSSSSR. I mean, Trotsky won in my Ethiopia playthrough. Ooh, like, pretty wow. handily. Hey, you saw it. Uh, Annoyance. Oh, there's a civil war. Yep. <laughs> yeah, Regno de Sud. Then the check on taunt. Yeah, that look on his face there. Tello Balbo. That's the look of. Committee. I haven't seen that before. The committee? I've that... always seen go straight to Victor Emmanuel. Huh. But, they, yeah. They don't even have Victor Emmanuel. Who has Victor Emmanuel? Where the hell is the king? <laughs> don't Emmanuel! ask questions. Actually, the anti-fascist committee sounds pretty awesome. Yeah. So they're French popping, Listo. which is to be expected. Atención. At least make it a bit more interesting when you have to fight France. Yep. Let's see where Germany and Austria Hungary land. A bunch of good fights here. Listo. 
Back slot. Uh, arms modernization. Our troops may be the most dedicated, loyal, devout, fervent, and best trained and most handsome, but they still require adequate arms to defend Christianity. We will ensure they have what they need. The goodest of boys need the goodest of guns. Man, these guys really managed to entrench themselves. Yeah. Up that pocket, and yeah, you know, we have Madrid. So that's pretty neat. Oh, and uh, Jackie says Prussian blue is your color. Or at least looks like it. Eh. Now I like it less that I know that I'm copying the Germans. <laughs> uh, you'll, I think you'll go back to a kind of green once you gobble up Port uh, Brazil. No, I think I stay blue. Oh, okay. Kingdom of Lithuania. Latvia is still in a civil war. And Estonia is doing whatever the hell they're doing. Oh, Finland didn't get a focus tree? I thought they did. No, they have not. Estonia that can eat Finland. That's bizarre. Yeah. They're really holding off on what they want to do with the Scandinavian countries. What do I even want to work on? Uh, planes. Sure. <laughs> oh, hey, you got Madrid. Yes, we've had that for a minute now. I wasn't paying attention. No problem. Let's see if we can get closer to Barcelona. Into the war? Huh. I haven't gotten an event for it or anything. Well, that 
plan didn't go how I was hoping. That's weird. Good news is it looks like the Spanish the only well, anarchists are running out of guns. Yeah. set up a battle line. Alright. Yep, it says you're returning your divisions. So all the rest of your guys will be here as the dudes that we're fighting will go back to your capital or whatever. Gotta make a save real quick. Oops, I am paused, sorry. No problem. Let me know when you're good. Oh, right, yeah, I'm good. And now I can get my planes over here. Very good. Oh, wait, no. Hey, I can't use your airports. Uh, you have to ask for access or something? I do have access. I just can't use your airports. Huh. Oh my, 12 TAC bombers can help, I guess. Or not, they appear to be getting distracted. Defenders of Catholicism. As it was 400 years ago, Spain must again be the defender of the Catholic faith. By extension, the common soldier must be the sword and shield of his faith, and bear the sacred duty in mind wherever his king might send him to fight. Save. It says it's sending the save game to me. Okay. Friendly reminder to follow that channel because that's where I actually normally stream instead of this one. Just the friendliest reminder. I'm playing through Ethiopia over there. And 
also the Wii U 4, and also other games. Alright. Alright, well that was painless. Uh... Keep it on going. Public. <laughs> hey, I mean, somebody was represented in something. It represented Mussolini's desire to no longer be in prison. Hmm. Everybody to focus fire on good provinces. Grab Valencia. That's a little crazy. Unintentional uh, encirclement there. Oh, yeah, their lines are falling apart. Gonna get another segment down there, beautiful. We can probably insert black guy. Okay, good news. My guys are now really good at riding horses. Excellent. Wait a minute. 
they won't capitulate until they have less than five percent of their points. Yeah, gotta take those two cities on the coast, and we'll be good. Para avanzar. Listo, señor. Third dimension of warfare. Carlist's indomitable spirit already rules supreme on land, and must now conquer the skies as well. Attention! Firme! Listo! Listo, señor! Listo, señor! Dude, how cheeky can we be right here? Don't worry, I'm helping with my 4% war score. Nice, nice. Oh, well there that goes. Let's take French, a look. French, Italy. Oof. So this to kill an Italian. Not all of them, like Yugoslavia didn't even get... Didn't even get their coastal stuff. I guess uh, France really put in all the effort. I mean, maybe it was because they did the whole... Um, what do you call it? Like because they got the... They got the puppet earlier. Yeah, interesting. King of Lithuania? Huh. Oh, and they have gone democratic. When do you, when do you know it? Germany. Sí, señor. Firme. Atención. Avance. The Sanationists are still holding on. how sneaky I can be. Noodle my way around the coast. Oh yeah, this is looking good. Hold on, you take Barcelona. Me? No, no, uh, this one guy. I got him. Oh, okay. Uh, alright. I was gonna say, I don't actually have anyone near that. Hmm? 
Diamond is cool in Ethiopia. Let's read that. And I win. Members of the military and anti-fascist organization known as the Black Lions have orchestrated a coup against the imperial government of Haile Selassie. The emperor was due to inspect the troops when he was ambushed by them and placed under arrest. Meanwhile, in Addis Ababa, uh, the Black Lions capture the key infrastructure in the city, including the emperor's residence. Many loyalists from the military and police have been killed in minor skirmishes. But what remains of the nation is now under the control of a communist-leaning provisional government. The majority of the people, exhausted by the war with, uh, with French Italy, have simply accepted the authority of their new government. The communist menace is on the march. I'm gonna go ahead and select all and uh, submit demands. I think you just want to pass. I would prefer you don't take any of my land. Oh. Okay, uh, I won't take your land, but I will request one thing. Uh... You want all the boats? That's fine. Yep. Um... Um, confirm an exit? I was just looking at these new things. Yeah. Alright. I'm gonna confirm an exit. You can get the boats. That's fine. Yeah. Cool. A victory uh, we can approve of. Yeah. There we go. So, it is... I feel that's a good enough place to leave off for now. Uh... Unless you want to do a couple things before we wrap it up. I'd like to finish off the focus. Okay, no problem. Funny that I just lost so many of my divisions, too. But I guess they were demobilized. Okay, so we're going to need to think of how we want to deal with Brazil now. Yeah. Do you have your EB or something? Well, I can always do the focus, but the way they're completely just... They are not recovering. Hmm. They have 8% stability, which may be my fault, but still. <laughs> Look at this guy, an ambusher. He's a defensive guy. Yeah, they have 8% stability. I can't get any more unaligned support over there, honestly. Mm. Because they immediately went the thing that gave them fascist support. Ah, oh boy. Until, until February. I don't even know if we could get them to flip Monarchist. Hmm. Alright, I'm gonna unpause then. Wait, hold on, I was gonna oh. pick the focus. Sorry. Okay, so we probably don't want to go immediately into war with them. We should probably let you recover a bit first. I'd appreciate it. Unless you think you could do it on your own, I'd be able, I would help I you the best can, that I can. Brazil's pretty strong. Okay. Focus that actually gets rid of it. Or is it a time thing? Or it's strength in the empire? No? Probably something down here. Yo, the guy you trust. How's it going, man? 
Oh, that, that's who my friend is playing as. We're gonna be in an alliance here. Yeah, I should prop. I guess I'll pick the thing to integrate the colonies. Uh, if you want to, or like, puppets could also be fine. Well, if we're gonna unite the kingdoms, then I feel like I should unite them. Okay. It's a long ordeal, but it is definitely valuable. I also put my army on the French border. Just in case those breadheads get any ideas. And France is, France is really delaying on the whole monarchy thing. Guess so. French Italy. Oh, now they have the king. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow, Yugoslavia just took Albania. Oh, I guess. Huh. <laughs> Okay, yeah. If you want to stop here, we could. Uh, yeah, let's go a little longer just to finish off this focus, I guess. Okay. This is my focus. Improved equipment conversions? Hmm. Or, no, hold on. People's Democratic Republic of Ethiopia. Eritrea and Somalia are independent. Eritrea does not have a focus tree? No. And neither does Somalia. Nah. Probably only the little guys that <laughs> Ethiopia itself spits out, like, uh... The, uh... Damo, Gambella, Gashangulgumuz. Yeah, stuff like that. Oh, the US went Roosevelt. Alright. Good for them. Mexican Soviet Republic. Uh, at least they got a, a dude as a face now leading them. Alright, I'll go ahead and. We want to really be working on industry stuff. Encourage local industrialization. Industrialization should be encouraged by our various regional governments as local initiatives. Like, uh, like this will undoubtedly serve to strengthen the nation as a whole. Alright. Uh, oh, get... so... Mm -hmm. Just so you know, most of your states aren't cores anymore. Oh, really? Yeah. Huh. When do we fix that? So, 
Yeah, so what what you fix that is there's a focus, stamp out the Maquis. Uh... It's in the part of the tree that's shared with Franco's. Oh, there we go. Okay, I see. Yeah, I'm... I'm uh, mm. Okay, so... Mm. Yeah, let's go ahead and just rush towards that. Yeah, so that's gonna put a king up, eventually put a king on the throne, so... Yeah. Alright. Settle the succession question. A Carlos cause is split between camps supporting different claims to the throne. Alfonso Carlos, the Carlos heir, died without issue late 1936. But not before appointing Xavier of Bourbon Parma as his heir. However, there are those who instead support the claim of the old exiled constitutional king Alfonso the Thirteenth. Alright, and now we'll give it a save. Alright. That's fun. Spanish Civil War is always a good time. Um So once again but uh I generally don't even really stream on this channel. I will probably get back at this maybe sometime next week, possibly. It's very intermittent here. This is basically an old channel that I really don't use anymore. So, go ahead and, uh... Follow this one if you actually want to see me stream things. That. Aha. I do Boy 4 EU4. Tomorrow I will be playing, since it's October, it's October now, uh, Kid Dracula. I'm gonna continue my path down every single one of the Castlevania games that I can get my hands on. So, thanks for joining me, everybody. Rock over London, rock on Chicago. I'm Cy Rock Omega, and have a nice day. Later.